Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. The Oduwa People's Congress has sent a serious warning to the Nigerian police to release their men unconditionally or face their wrath. Just like you all know, some OPC members were arrested a few days ago after they arrested and handed over a Fulani warlord to Nigerian police. So they arrested them and charged them for murder and uh, arson. So this one is a message from the Odua People's Congress to them to release these people or ask what they will see. They may not like it because these people, they have committed no crime against them. So I'm going to read out the news for you guys. But please, if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe. Also on the notification button. In that way, anytime we upload a new video, they will notify you. And I pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel, God will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in Jesus' name. Amen. This news here reads, the Oduas People's Congress has advised the police to release unconditionally its men arrested in connection with the capturing of a notorious Fulani warlord, Iskilu Wakili, the Oyo State Coordinator of the OPC, who said this in an interview with our correspondent in Ibadan. On Monday, said failure to release OPC members could cause crisis. Okay, now. Nah. Olumo said it was saddening that despite that the OPC came in to help the police to do their job, they turned around to arrest some of the volunteers who carried out the operation that led to the arrest of Wakili. The OPC coordinator debunked the claims by the police that its members set the house of Wakili ablaze and that nobody was killed in the fire. Oluma said his men did not touch Wakili's building but blamed it on some members of the suspect gang who he said returned to the place and set it on fire to implicate the OPC men. Oluma said everybody had expected police to commend the team that arrested Wakili but said they had shown that they are not interested in arresting Wakili and those troubling Ibarakwa people. He said, this suspect has caused much pain to the people of Ibarapa. Remember that Dr. Fatai Abarode was killed there and many others. The police didn't do anything about it. The police are now asking who our men took order from before going to capture Wakili. Imagine ha, this country. Anyways, who did Wakili take order from before terrorizing Ibarakwa people? Of course, the police. You don't need anybody to tell you that because with the way, with the way, with all, all these things they are doing, you need to know that they are working together. Did the police give him the order to terrorize the innocent people? They said police should have followed them, but we know that many policemen are now working with criminals. If we told the police, they would have leaked the secret to Wakili and the operation would have been futile. And that is the problem we are facing in Yoruba land. But if they do not release our men they arrested, there will be crisis. If they have done their job, if the soldiers and the police had been set to arrest Wakili, our men would not have had any cause to go and be chasing Wakili about. Makinde has invited the CP over Wakili's arrest, OPC members' detention. Governor Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State on Monday invited the Commissioner of Police in the state, Mrs. Ngozi Onadeko, on the security situation in Kajola, a Barakwa North local government area of the state. The CP's invitation came on the heels of the arrest of Wakili and the opera that trained the arrest of the OPC members that arrested him. Makinde, who expressed reservations on the security situation in a Barakwa area of the state, said his administration would ensure that there was no miscarriage of justice. He said law breaks, irrespective of ethnic or religious background, would be dealt with with in accordance to the law of the land. Residents of Ibarakwa have started assembly victims of alleged criminality of the Fulani warlord Iskilu Wakili, who will testify against him as policemen from the State Criminal Investigation Department visit the area to investigate the allegations against him. Our correspondent gathered that some of the leaders in the area have started mobilizing relatives of those allegedly killed by the suspect as well as those raped, robbed, and maimed by his gang, by his gang members to testify against him. 
a popular farmer based in Iganga, Taiwo Adiabo, told our correspondent on Monday that some of the victims of the alleged atrocities of Wakili were ready to testify against him. He said, we have assembled victims who will give evidence against Wakili because if there is no evidence against him, he will be freed and his return will be, will be worse. We have people who were raped, those who were robbed, and those whose farms were destroyed. There is an old woman who was dragged into the bush and raped. She will tell the police what happened and who did it. All right, guys, and that is it for you all. Uh, Nigeria now is not the more you look, the less you see. The kind of things we hear in this country on a daily basis is just so pathetic. So what can we do than to talk and try to look for how to uh, uh, stop it? That is just it. With that being said, I'll just leave you guys to watch this video and uh, share your thoughts with me on the comment section. Don't forget to share this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Eskilu Wakili was arrested by members of the Odua People's Congress on suspicion of being behind the violence and kidnappings perpetrated by criminal herdsmen in Ibarapa North local government area of Oyo State. But this quickly degenerated into a heated controversy after the police detained three members of the OPC who arrested him and turned him in. Huh? At the Oyo State Police Command headquarters in Ileale, Bado, the police commissioner, Ngozi Onodeko, explains to journalists what transpired in Ibarapa on Sunday. As the OPC people left the camp with the suspects, they set the camp on fire and a woman was shot on her stomach. Her intestines gushed out and the woman died. But the suspect denies any wrongdoing and claims he has no idea why he was arrested. He said, two people should go and investigate him anywhere. If he is found culpable of any offence that happened in Ibarapa, he will be preferred to be taken to anywhere. In the meantime, the state government is assuring that the matter will be investigated thoroughly. Please let us be calm. Please let us refrain from uh, ethnic profiling. Let us have trust in the ability and the capacity of the people saddled with the responsibility of maintaining uh, law and order within our state. And from the State Police Commissioner comes another appeal that all with complaints or petitions against Wakili should come forward while investigations are ongoing.